In this tutorial I would like to change the color of this guitar um, using LAB color and a Pantone color. The mode is LAB. You can see I've already converted my image here by going to image mode. I've changed it from RGB to LAB color. LAB color um, actually separates this into three channels rather than the, uh, the three we had in RGB which were red, green, and blue. This is lightness and the A channel actually comprises the range from green to magenta. The blue channel, the B channel rather, uh, comprises the colors going from blue to yellow. So it's a different color uh, model. And I have an alpha channel also here in my channels, and that is my mask that I've set up so that when I change the color of the guitar, the background is protected, and also where the volume knob and the bridge are, that is also protected in the mask. First, we need to set the color that we would like to change the guitar to. So I'm going to double click the color picker. And I'm going to go to color libraries because I would like to use a Pantone color. Let's choose one of these colors. Let's go with uh, 1925C here. Now I need to note the values for the LAB numbers here because that's what I'm going to change my image to. So that's 49 for L, that is 75 for the A channel, and that is 25 for the B channel. Those are going to be my new values. So I'm going to click OK to that. And now uh, to make a reference, a point of reference, I'm going to use my rectangle tool here and I'm just going to choose a spot on, on the surface here that's not in too much light or shadow. So I will just go ahead and select that there. And that's going to be my reference color. I'm going to change this guitar to that color. Now I need to actually um, set some, some sample points. So I'm going to get my color sample tool here and I'm going to set one right next to my color swatch and I'm going to set another one because I would like to have this binding remain white. So I'm going to set another sample there. Now I need to uh, bring up my curves. But before I bring up my curves, I'm going to load my selection for my mask because I don't want to affect the background. I don't want to affect the, the uh, volume control or the bridge here. So I'm going to command click on my alpha channel to, to load my selection. That would be um, using a um, control click on a PC. And now I'm ready to go to my adjustment layers and I'm going to choose curves. On the curve, I am going to actually go ahead and get my regular eyedropper tool here. And I'm going to command click, that can be control click on a PC, on my sample point that sets a point on my on my curve here in the lightness channel. The output is currently set to 46. I'd noted that my new value to match the Pantone color is 49. I'm going to go to the A channel. I'm going to similarly command click on that point to set a point on the curve. The current value is 33. The A value in my new color is 75. I'm going to go to the B channel. In the B channel, I'm going to command click again on that sample point. My current value is 58. Uh, my new value for the Pantone color that I'm changing it to is 25 in the B channel, so I'm going to type in 25. That's effectively um, changed the color to uh, distribute the Pantone color across the range of my guitar. But I still have uh, a little bit more to do because uh, I want this binding here to remain white. So I'm going to actually hold down my, my command key and sample there. And I don't really want that to have a color and notice in the B channel uh, this is set to, to a negative 28. That's actually pulling it towards the blue side um, and in the balance there in the A and B channel zero is neutral so I'm going to set that to zero and so that it doesn't um, affect the other colors so much when you have two points on a curve I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out 
So I'm going to just drag here and I'm going to drag on the other point and set this to a straight line. That's going to actually keep the balance between the colors fairly fairly even there. I'm going to do the same in the A channel. So in the A channel I'm going to command click right here on my binding. Sets a point on the curve. Notice the output is set to 40. I also need that to be neutral. I'm going to type in a zero there and I'm going to drag my endpoints again to make a straight line going through these points so that I can keep the balance between my other colors fairly well. And at this point you can see that I have actually changed the color to match the the Pantone color for this guitar. I can turn my adjustment on and off and you can see that I've effectively have changed the color of the guitar to the Pantone color. The areas that are protected are the background, the volume knob, and the bridge according to the mask here. So that is it.